Yo, what's up? So I just wanted to make a video here where I talk about pretty much all of the things that you do when you make a game, except I want to rank them based on how hard I am. So I have a tier list here with a lot of different stuff and let's just get started. So the first one is getting idea. So this is probably arguably the only one here that is actually considered easy because getting ideas is pretty easy. All you have to do is just I mean, just think of something, but actually executing on the idea is the hard part. And then we have animations. So animations for me, I've only really delved into like Unity specific animations, not anything super complex. So for me, I can't really speak on like character rigging and all of that, but I do find it pretty difficult. It's not something that I particularly enjoy, especially because animations can either make or break a game. Uh, so I'm going to say that it's hard, not super hard because I think once you get it, you get it, you know? So I'm gonna say hard. Then we have balance. So balance is something that, although it is difficult to get right, depending on what game you make, uh, it's something that I don't particularly mind doing. Uh, I usually, this is something you should do throughout development, but I, I've had, I'm in a very bad habit of waiting till the end, but it is not something that's like super hard. You sort of just have to like, you sort of just have to like change different variables and whatnot, but, now, if the game is too hard or too easy, obviously that's bad. So you want to find the right balance. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to say that it's super hard, but it is definitely hard to do. But it's something that I don't mind doing. So bug fixing. This one is obviously, this one can be easy or it can be hard. It really just depends on the bug, obviously. But uh, I'm going to say that it's kind of hard because doing bug fixing is something that I kind, I kind of enjoy doing it. Mostly because whenever I am developing my game, I usually like stack a lot of bugs and I write them down. And then when I want to have like a session where I only focus on fixing bugs, I kind of enjoy that. So I'm going to say kind of hard in the middle because obviously there's some bugs that are super easy and some that are super hard and annoying. So I'm going to say right in the middle. And then we have actually finishing the game. So for some people, this is like the, <laughs> this is like the hardest part of game development. For me, I used, I, before I started making games, all of my projects with everything else I did, I had I had this issue where, with finishing my projects. But once I started give, developing games, I pretty much finished almost everything that I've started. So I'm gonna say that it's slightly hard because it's always hard once you, <clears throat> let's say you've been developing a game for many, many months and you're kind of getting sick of your own game. That's kind of the hard part. So for me, this is slightly hard. And then you have game documents slash planning. So this is just writing when you have the idea, you wanna sit down and you wanna make an actual document that describes the entire game. So some people just neglect this and just don't bother with it. But I think this is can be, this is obviously really valuable. I do this for every single game that I make and it's not hard. I mean, this is, I'm not gonna say that it's easy because you have to actually have the entire idea in your head and you have to try and make it make sense on paper, you know? So it can be kind of hard, but it's not much to, I, I don't got, but I don't got too much more to say about this one. Level design. So. I haven't really made a game that you really make levels for, sort of. So if you make like a shooter, a first person shooter or whatever, you're probably making levels. But I'm, I mean, I'm kind of making levels with my new game now, uh, Peg Idol, but even then it's kind of different. It's like a Peggle level, different Peggle levels. So this one, I don't have too much to say because I haven't really delved too much into level design. So I'm gonna say that it's pretty hard, right? From what I, what I can see, maybe even it's super hard, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that it's hard. And then we have marketing. So for some people, this is like the hardest thing. They, they hate doing it. For me, I also don't particularly enjoy it, but it's not the worst thing in the world. The hardest part about marketing is the fact that you sort of have to do it throughout development of your game and not just wait to the end. And that can be kind of boring because you kind of want to focus on making the game. So if you have somebody that's obviously doing this for you, then this is like easy. You don't have to think about it. If you are a solo developer, you have to do this. You have to do everything pretty much. So I'm going to say that it's, I'm going to say super hard. Because for some people, obviously, you have a really, really good game, but your marketing just falls flat and you, you're not getting any sales. So I'm actually going to say super hard. Uh, for me, the, the best marketing that I've done is uh, sending just emails to YouTubers and getting them to play my game. But obviously, there's a little bit of luck with that. So yeah, so super hard. Multiplayer, I, don't, I have not met any multiplayer games, but I, I know for a fact that this one is a tier beyond super hard for... Yeah, maybe even if you made a few multiplayer games and you're gonna make another one, I'm pretty sure you're still gonna struggle. So yeah, I'm gonna say really, really hard. Optimization. So this one is also a little, little bit weird one because the more you get experience developing games, the easier this one is gonna be. So this one just depends on how long you've been making games. But for me, 
recently I fired out my, uh, my new game that I released, Just Click the Button, it was actually pretty unoptimized. So I've been doing a little bit of optimization, and it is actually kind of fun just seeing how you can write different code and whatnot. So I'm going to say that it's, it's kind of hard, because it's not like... Obviously, if you have something that's really, really bugging the game down and you can't figure it out, then that's really super hard, but I'm going to say kind of hard. Outsourcing, so you basically just get people to do work for you. So some people will argue that this is easy, but I'm not going to say that because outsourcing can actually be kind of hard. You actually want to tell the people you hire exactly what you want, and that can be annoying. And also it can be really annoying finding somebody that's competent and doing the work for the right price, not too expensive. Not too expensive and not too cheap, although getting stuff cheap is always nice. Uh, so I'm going to say that this one is slightly hard just because it's kind of boring. You have to, a, lot of, a lot of the time you have to sit and you have to write a really detailed message of I want this and this and that. So yeah, it can be, it can be slightly hard. Physics. So for a lot of people, I would argue that this is why you get into game development. Because physics is really fun. Uh, it's probably the most fun I've had when I'm developing games. And I'm going to say that it's not been the most hard thing that i've done definitely not but it is it can be really really annoying especially with when you have a lot of different physics physics systems so i'm going to say that it's hard i'm not going to say super hard because maybe just because it's fun yeah so play testing a lot of people will think well this is easy because you just play the game but it's not easy because you have to actually play the game in a way that you try and find issues and also this one is something that you sort of have to outsource in some way, like either without demo and people play test your game there, or just throughout development you just give players a uh, copy of a game and then they play it. But you obviously have to do a lot of play testing yourself, and it can be annoying because you play your game, your own game, a different way than other people do. So it can be pretty hard to play test your game. Uh, obviously not not super hard, not easy. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that it's slightly hard play testing. Polish. So polish is. Uh, so polish can be a really annoying one because you sort of have made your systems in your game, you sort of finish this and that and then you gotta work more on it to make it look nicer. And this can be pretty annoying, so polish is something that you arguably have to do throughout development because when you wanna, for marketing purposes, you want nice nice screenshots for your game, nice trailers and whatnot, so polish is this nice like balance of do you do it when you start or do you do it in the middle or after in my opinion you do this sort of throughout development but you focus really hard on it towards the end so i'm gonna say this is kind of hard just because you gotta like i gotta i gotta do extra work on this system that's already done you know so i'm gonna say i'm gonna say hard sound design i hate i really dislike sound i just uh, this is something that i always hate doing when i make my game and i always skip to the end of development which is also a bad mistake so yeah, I don't know why. Uh, sound design can obviously make or break your game. It can make your game really, 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 really good if you have uh, the right like, if you have the <clears throat> if you have the right sounds. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say super hard. Uh, this is just not something I enjoy. And also sitting around finding the correct sound effect for your different mechanics is also really annoying. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that. Yeah, tutorial. So. Not every game needs this, obviously. Uh, for my games, I have not made a tutorial yet. I'm actually making one right now for my new game, and it is not fun because you have to you have to strike this balance of giving them the right information but not making them read a lot, and that's really annoying. And also, you got to figure out when do you tell players? Do you tell everything just in the beginning or throughout? Or throughout when they play and they make progress? So I'm gonna say kind of hard just because it's so annoying and. You can, every time, and when I'm sitting developing, when I'm sitting and working on my tutorial, it's like I would rather do anything else. So I'm, that's what I'm gonna say, kind of hard. UI, UI might be easy. Uh, so actually creating UI, just making the UI, just making it right, is really easy. But making it actually look really nice, it's the challenge. Uh, some people probably really, really dislike doing UI work. Uh, for me, it's kind of whatever. I'm not good at it, but I know that the games that I make are not super UI heavy. Well, they kind of are in some way and in some way they're not, but I mean, not that I think about it. Some of my games are all UI, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're not, uh, not, not the, I'm, I'm, I'm saying slightly hard. Yeah, I think most people would agree that it's not like super hard. It's just nice to find it. it just, it's just, it's just really hard to make it look nice and feel, feel nice. All right, so that is pretty much it. Obviously there's probably a few things that I missed there, so if you got any ideas of something that I should have added to this list, let me know. And also, there's probably a few that you disagree with or agree with. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye.